I've told y'all before, I am a cereal fiend. I have cereal almost every single morning, and I've tried almost every single cereal in the cereal aisle, but I've had some bad experiences recently, specifically with the keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free ones. Some of them are like stones. They're like eating rocks. Even if you soak them, even if you pour milk in the bowl, you go watch an episode of No Dunks that take 90 minutes because you know we like to blab. You come back, you put your spoon in the bowl, and you're eating a spoonful of stones. I'm not kidding. I have had to throw out multiple boxes of cereal. I don't know why I don't just go back to old faithful magic spoon because it tastes great and it doesn't break your teeth. And you check the stats, it's got everything you need. If you want keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, and low carb cereal, zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, only four net grams of carbs, and 140 calories in each serving. Build your own custom bundle of flavors today with flavors including cocoa, fruity, frosted, mmm, peanut butter, mmm, mmm, blueberry, cinnamon, cookies and cream, and maple waffle. Cookies and cream and maple waffle, they were first introduced for a limited time, but they sold out so quickly, Magic Spoon brought them back permanently. Go to magicspoon.com slash no dunks to grab a custom bundle of cereal and try it today. Be sure to use our promo code no dunks at checkout to save $5 off your order. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. If you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. Remember, get your next delicious bowl of guilt-free cereal at magicspoon.com slash no dunks and use the code no dunks to save $5. Thank you, Magic Spoon, for saving my teeth and for sponsoring this episode. They did it. Steve Nash, you're a liar. <laughs> you are a liar, good sir. The Brooklyn Nets are trading James Harden and Paul Millsap. Can you believe it? To the Philadelphia 76ers for Ben Simmons, Seth Curry, Andre Drummond, and then two first round picks. Uh, unprotected 2022 first round pick and a protected 2027 first round pick. Oh my God, I can't believe it finally happened. <laughs> as soon as we went off the air mm. with our last podcast, talking about that four-team deal and Dragic getting shipped to the Spurs for Thaddeus Young, as soon as we said goodbye, Lee was like, oh, we mm-hmm. got the Harden-Simmons trade. Mm-hmm. So great timing, good stuff, NBA. Way to go, Daryl Morey. Way to go, Sean Marks. Uh, let's break it all down. Shout out to the stream teamers joining us live here on YouTube. Take a second, like the video, subscribe to No Dunks on YouTube. We're getting awful close to 50,000 subs. Let's do that today here with this one but Tass how surprised are you that it happened here today uh what uh, an hour and a half before the deadline well this is like basketball candy skeets I mean I didn't want to shove it down my face earlier today I didn't want to I didn't want to believe it was going to happen but here it is baby Shove it down my throat. I am very, very pumped for this. I think. I think okay. We're all eating beans in the yeah. classic factory. No candy. Um, wow. I, I think it's great for Daryl Morey. Mm-hmm. He played this so perfectly. Uh, he waited. He waited. Yeah, he got the vitriol. He got hated for months and months and months and months and months. He turned Ben Simmons into James Harden. It doesn't get much better than that. There's question marks with James Harden, though. He's 32. His hamstring isn't strong enough to play right now. Now people might say, "Oh, he's not playing it because might he got up traded." Pretty quickly. Yeah. He's going to start playing, but it's a it is a problem that goes back to last year's postseason. He's played a lot of minutes, and those minutes are all on James Harden's legs. He's the ball handler for entire possession. So I would be worried uh, trading Ben Simmons for James Harden. Obviously, this is the best move that Daryl Morey could make. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's exciting. But I think you can go back to saying the Brooklyn Nets are the favorites in the Eastern Conference right now. Wow. So you like this from both sides by all accounts. Yeah, baby. Okay. By all accounts, they've lost nine in a row. Don't care. Uh, when Just like last year, they go into the playoffs with their big three only having played eight games together. They were the favorites then. Then they sustained some injuries. They could have gone to the finals. Uh, and now you're ending games with Ben Simmons and Durant, Kyrie Irving, as well as I think a, a, a tiny little uh, you know, minor detail here is Andre Drummond thrown into this. He is the best Yanni stopper now on the Nets roster. 
he's the he's the biggest, most agile player to throw in front of Yanis, who is uh, that was definitely part of the the calculations here uh, with Sean Marks, and then. They got Seth Curry in this deal, Patty Mills, if Joe Harris comes back, Bruce Brown, around those guys. I, I think they are the best team, the most talented team. And, yeah, Kyrie Irving's only playing half games, but uh, I don't know. James Harden comes back. I think Kyrie Irving somehow, some way, shape, or form uh, is playing in the p- playoffs. I think they are the favorites uh, right now. So, yes, it's exciting. And and Ben Simmons all of a sudden, he's going to be back playing oh, just like he? that. Oh, he's going to be cleared to play. <laughs> Very to know. fresh. Um, what, what do you think, Trey? You know, of the of what it ultimately ended up being, you know, by all reports, it was like there was some bickering on the secondary pieces here. Who was going back to Brooklyn? How many of their young guys were going back? And in the end, it's it's just Curry, then Andre Drummond, which is nice, as Tass points out, and then the two picks there, uh, one very, very in the future. What, what do you think? You love this from both sides? You hate it from one squad? What? I think this is great for both squads, and uh, I mean, I kind of hesitate to name the Nets as the favorite just because I feel like they've got a lot to figure out, like bringing in Ben Simmons, shipping out James Harden, figuring out exactly what you're going to be getting uh, from Kyrie and how often he's going to be able to play. Uh, Maybe that takes until next season. I think starting next year, they're guaranteed favorites in the entire NBA, regardless of how things happen. Give them a summer to figure out how to play alongside each other. And they're looking good, not to mention whoever they can bring in on a veteran minimum, right? Like it was Paul Millsap, LaMarcus Aldridge, and Blake Griffin. Maybe next or uh, some younger guys who are uh, get a little more juice in those legs. Mm. Uh, we shall see. As for the 76ers, I think the fit with Harden and Embiid is going to be a lot of your turn, my turn this season. It's mm-hmm. going to take them a minute to figure it out too, but obviously the 76ers got a lot better here trading Ben Simmons, who was not playing for them, and bringing in an MVP caliber player, James Harden. Maybe he's just an all-star caliber player now, but still, that's better than a zero. So... This is great stuff. I mean, biggest winners in this trade to me are number one, Daryl Morey, for getting dunked on for eight months and then coming through in the clutch here exactly when it mattered. He played it like he said he was going to. He said, we're going four years on this. We said, no, you're not. He said, you're right, but I'm saying I'm going to do it. And it worked (laughs) out, turning it into James Harden. That's amazing. Ben Simmons, also a big winner here. He went from possibly being the most hated man in Philadelphia to playing for a championship this year. And man, once that team actually gets together and it's Curry, Kyrie, Ben Simmons, Kevin Durant, that's going to be an impossible team to stop offensively. And Ben Simmons has become underrated at this point. He's one of the best defenders in the league. And now he's going to be playing the Draymond Green role alongside Kevin Durant. Scary stuff. Mm-hmm. What do you think, Lily? How pumped are you? Wow, man, you look, but, you look disheveled there. Uh, <laughs> do I? Oh, it's, been, uh, it's been a long day in the factory. Uh, it's great. It's so great. It's so perfect because it could turn out awesome for both teams, but they could also implode. That is true. As well. That's a great point. You look at the Nets. They got Simmons and Kyrie on the same squad. Right. Oh, boy. Okay. Hold on to your right. asses. Uh, and then, like you said, Harden and Bede, I mean, if what you type of Harden James, are you getting yeah. and can they make it work? I, if, I'm with you on that. If you get best, the best James Harden, then the Sixers, I think, are, well, I still got the Bucks as favorite, actually. I'll just okay. say that. Okay. But I think the Sixers are just a better team because you've got James Harden who's capable of going for 40, 45 points on any given night. He's got a superstar in the prime of his career right now playing the best basketball of his career. So he's got that other guy who can help carry him. There was reports that James Harden in Brooklyn felt that he was doing far too much. Mm-hmm. You know, now he doesn't have to worry about that. The Sixers didn't have to give up all of Tybal and uh and Maxi. Maxi, that yeah. was the other one, yeah. sorry. And they so they so sacrificed Seth Curry. It's like, okay, so they've still got their defensive player in Tybal. They've still got Maxi as well there. This is great. But then you get Ben Simmons, okay. Now he hasn't played since June, you said, of last year. Yeah. He hasn't not played. He said he's been staying uh, in shape and he's ready to go. Well, I'm really excited to see just how long he it takes before he gets into a uniform, gets into his groove, because you figure he's been working on something of his game. If he comes back and he's still not shooting at all and he hasn't really added anything to his game, then the Nets are probably going to be like, oh, you know, we want to see some improvement there, mm-hmm. you know? So we'll see. But at their best as well, the Nets, now all of a sudden, it's like you, the guys you mentioned there. If Kevin Durant comes back healthy, if Kyrie starts playing, who knows what's going to happen with the, the, the mandate there in New York City. And then Simmons, and then Seth Curry. Now Andre Drummond. Andre Drummond and Joel Embiid can re- re- oh, renew yeah. their beef. <laughs> you know, that's going to be great. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, oh, we absolutely have to get a Sixers they next gotta playoff play, match. Well, we got mean, the league needs to yeah. like just make that yeah. happen. Just March 10 in Philadelphia is the first time these two teams meet. So a month from today, that is going to be just incredible. So I love these sort of deals. Both teams took on risk. Yep. Both teams probably go, you know what? I think we actually won the, uh, the trade today. So yeah. that's what you want. Philadelphia, Brooklyn, this is going to be fantastic. I 
can't wait for them to, to get out on the floor and see what they got. Yeah, I, th- I call the Nets the favorite. They definitely are more likely to implode than the Philadelphia 76ers. I, I think the Nets' ceiling is probably higher, but the 76ers are just more solid. I think Embiid and Harden will work real well. Yeah, right. the, the your turn, my turn, Trey is totally right. But I think Embiid is cool with that. Those I, are good turns to take. <laughs> yeah, I think they're they're both they both like doing that. I mean, Harden is. How as, long are Sixers games going to take? Oh my god, <laughs> this be a lot of free throws. Yeah, baby. This is going to be this. the best villain squad in the NBA, mm. guaranteed. Harden and Embiid. Embiid is like the best trash talker in the game right now. He's already got up, uh, <laughs> went to my haters' funeral just to make sure he's dead. Tweet, <laughs> which, is, which is great, honestly great. And then Harden is like despised around the league and. Obviously, the last right. week hasn't really helped his reputation, so uh, they should figure out a way to bl- wear those like Allen Iverson black jerseys every <laughs> single game. Isn't yeah. that what the uh, the Wizards did with the Celtics and they were in Rife? They turned up in all their like funeral gear for yep. a battle. I mean, uh, that's what we want to see. But yeah, the thing is with James Harden and Ben Simmons because they are sort of people are skeptical about Simmons uh, about Ben uh, James Harden's injuries for one. And his effort and his attitude on the court in yeah. his last few games, they're skeptical because they know he can just go out there and turn it on and be like, oh, see, I was fine. And people are skeptical of Ben Simmons, you know, claiming mental health has been preventing him from playing. Right. So if all of a sudden these two guys just go out there and start performing, that will justify why people are upset with him. But right. this is what we want. This is the sort of chaos and drama we love in the NBA because uh, it makes for just such great viewing. But let the record show, James Harden did not formally ask to be moved, okay? He didn't like the look of that. Yes, yes, so. yes, okay, okay. But he's uh, making his way to the Sixers. Um, yeah. This is a weird sort of like tangent to all of this. What happens with the All-Star draft tonight? Mm. <laughs> Kevin Durant, captain of obviously his team, Team KD, even though he's not playing in the game. We all thought, well, he's going to be taking James Harden when he gets to the reserves. Uh, will he now? When are they doing this? Has it already been recorded? <laughs> Uh, it's on tonight at 6.30 p.m. Eastern, yeah. but they don't do it live. I, at least I don't think they do. Um, so has a, has this deal happened here where Katie – has Katie already taken Harden on his team here? I don't think he's so. Gone? I mean, I can't wait to see. Because back at our NBA TV days when they recorded in that Turner studio, and right. Studio J, as Ernie Johnson likes to call it, because that's what it's called. It's called <laughs> Studio J. They do it just hours before yeah. the draft took place. So I think they wait till the trade deadline is done. Now, okay. now Kevin's going to be on the mic. And uh, he's he's going to have to make a decision. So Kevin can't take Joel Embiid now. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, and he can't take Harden when he gets to the Fascinating. Uh, Somehow this wow. made the uh, All-Star Game draft even more yeah. exciting. Yeah. This blocked Buster. Maybe they video. record at 2 o'clock Eastern and they're like, guys, get this done. We got to finish our, oh. we got to do our draft here. I've got a scoop. It's happening right now. It is. It's happening right now. Okay, so, so in theory they have yeah. got this news. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And and people were saying I saw uh, Ghostface Tom Ziller saying in his newsletter this morning, what type of mood were LeBron and KD going to be in with their teams <laughs> reeling? You know, the Nets yeah, have lost nine LeBron straight. LeBron last night. All he oh, wanted to do was yeah. take a nap. LeBron was in a yeah. He might be in a cranky mood here when it comes to drafting his team. But who knows? Who knows? Yeah, well, I assume Harden uh, is going to be a happy guy now. Uh, he got his way. He, he there were a lot of slight digs over the last month or so at his teammates, like about Kyrie Irving. About Kyrie, yeah, mostly. Yeah, yeah. Kyrie not playing, and he said, "Well, when Kyrie had a good game, well, that's that's why we need him playing every yeah. single yeah. game." You know, it was, it's starting to seep out. He didn't want it to be like the Houston Rockets situation where it was, uh, yeah, hit the clubs in the preseason, then basically demand a trade. Uh, but back to back years, we've got James Harden moved. It's almost <laughs> Westbrook ish, where Westbrook yeah. was traded back to back years, and he was traded a third time before that, a couple years prior to that. Uh, so it's it's odd to see James Harden moved. Uh, but, but he found I his think, way back to Daryl. Yeah. Darryl and and I'm working my way back to Daryl. <laughs> think he put in a trade request yet? For the Sixers? For his next team? Or will that be no, 2023 no, trade deadline? He'll t- give it deadline. a little bit. He'll give it a little bit. You got to see oh, how this man. goes. He better perform here in the postseason, though. Mm-hmm. James Harden. Well, I mean, really, both, both of them. Of them yeah. both a lot of, them. of reps on the line here. He big yeah. time. Embiid, Harden, and Doc Rivers. Yeah. Great like, point. Those are three guys who could use a ring on the thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, yeah, like you said, Ben Simmons has to. <laughs> he has to show. And it makes sense. I'm with you. I said this last week when we were talking about this deal. I love this trade for both teams. Yeah. I think it takes them to the next level, both of them, if all things go according to plan, their plan at least. Because Simmons with KD and Kyrie, come on. Like, all he has to do is play elite defense. Push the ball. Like you said, Draymond Green playmaking. No one like, cares that Draymond mean, Green doesn't shoot. Don't shoot. No one cares. Exactly. 
And he's still going to score 15 in transition as it is anyway, and in the dunker yeah. spot and stuff like that, rebound and stuff like that. Ben Simmons is going to be in heaven. He's going to be in heaven when he doesn't have to shoot. Right, right. I mean, right. He's, he can let the other guys but, shoot. But if teams are just going to lay off him, though, mm -hmm. he's got to drive. Gotta he's got he's to take advantage of that in some way because if Kevin Durant's out there and Kyrie's out there, yeah. it's like, well, okay, we're going to make it so that if, if you're going to Kevin Durant, we're going to throw two people at him. So Simmons can't just sort of be like, I'm not shooting at all. He has to show at least some yeah, development right. of there. Of course, of course. I think. He can't I think be Tony it's... Allen out there. No, right? no, but I don't think he is either. I, but I really I'm don't. not saying he has to be Steph Curry, but he has to be at least the guy who's like, I'm not just going to pass up everything. Mm -hmm. I've got to be able to knock down a shot. The more pressure he puts on other teams' defenses by at least taking those shots and getting into positions, that just makes Brooklyn even better. If they have a weakness and it's that shooting and what we saw from him in, in the playoffs last season – that could come back to haunt that team. Mm -hmm. So, But again, James Harden, he's also got to prove that he can get through an entire playoff series right. because we've seen him start playoffs really well, but then his body tends to wear down a bit, maybe a bit too many, few too many minutes there. So this is this is exactly what you want in a trade like this where both teams are like, oh man, we've got to get, we've got to win this trade, but both have got so much at stake as well. I can't believe it happened. Yeah. I knew it was going to happen, but I still can't believe it happened. It's the same feeling as last year when Harden was traded, but we knew that was coming. <laughs> I guess it just, uh, I don't know. I felt that way last year too, I think. When he was, well, because yeah, he quit I, on Houston and the Rockets. Was terrible. Yeah. Yeah. And, no, he, I, and he made a trade request, didn't he? Say it like at a press conference. More or less, I think yeah. he said, uh, "I don't want to," or it's, "I don't know what the future is." Because Boogie Cousins was like, "Get this guy out of here," yeah. you know. And, and Boogie, you know, he didn't want to be around a guy like that. So, so what are the stream teamers saying in general here? Who won this trade? Like, who's making <laughs> off uh, better than the other team? Is it Philadelphia or is it, or is it Brooklyn? Or are people torn on this one? People liking both squads. The winner is in the high eye of the beholder here, Skeets. If you're pulling for the Nets, you're like the Nets won this one. Look at this. They got a defense. They turned a guy who didn't want to be there into a guy who doesn't want does want to be there. And <laughs> oddly enough, if you're the 76ers, you're thinking, hey. We got a guy that didn't want to be here. Now we got a guy that does want to be here, and we're better on <laughs> offense. So it's pretty weird to look at. Well, yeah, but, um, and Philly fans, I, I assume, too, are also like, like you guys were saying, like Daryl waited this out, mm. and it's not um, Jeremy Grant. It's not, um, you know, give me it's a another, star. Like I'm, That's a yeah. legit star. Yeah, I'm like, I'm struggling to think of like that sort of tier of player right now. I mean, even, I guess you could argue like Sabonis, because that would have been a weird pairing maybe with Embiid. But yeah, they, they get uh, James Harden, a guy can score 30 points per game still. He can. Mm. Oh, of course now, some people can. say he can't. Some people yeah. say he's done. He, he's, like, he's too old and he doesn't have it. We'll find out. His name isn't Daryl Lessie. <laughs> it's Daryl Morey. Mm. Uh, well, speaking of Morey, <laughs> allegedly, <laughs> reportedly, the Nets are not done making moves here because they got two first-round picks here mm. in this trade, so maybe they're going to be looking for somebody else uh, as well as something that Woj is reporting. So I guess we shall see. I got another hour here wow should get some weird trades trickling in and not too long get a little pushback though people are saying that the nets are going to be the biggest villain team in the mm -hmm. nba Kyrie and ben simmons yeah, which it's a hell of a enough. combo yeah hell of a oh, combo that's the melbourne combination right there hey, wow can i clarify ben simmons is fully vaccinated yes. like he can play in all these games yes okay yes okay. yes, okay. yes. Wow. Kyrie simmons and patty mills <laughs> this guy's got the big <laughs> oh, nets i'm fan. a nets fan now wow i didn't realize that oh my god that's incredible stuff <laughs> how's waltzing matilda go uh, waltzing matilda wants a jolly swag matilda. Uh, there we go <laughs> hey do you, let me ask this philadelphia <laughs> in brooklyn no, sorry. Brooklyn in Philadelphia, March 10. Game's close. Hacker Ben? Do they do Hacker Ben in Philadelphia? I think so. I think so. Just get, get up there. Oh, they have to. Test yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because oh, people, really? oh, people are saying Simmons will sit that game out. He can't possibly. You can't. <laughs> You can't sit out a game like that. Surely not. <laughs> he just Surely sat, he not. just sat out all season. I know, but this is different. About? You can't be on another team and then be like, I'm I'm still not playing. It's a bad look to your teammates, it's I would say that. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet he'll ask Kyrie Irving about it. Has he played in <laughs> Cleveland since he requested a trade? <laughs> Great point. I don't he, think so. He's never played there? <laughs> I don't think I think he's missed every game <laughs> since he was traded from the Cavs. <laughs> he won a championship yeah, with them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's okay, so do you think? Uh, do you take it back? Maybe the Nets are the real villain uh, of the NBA here, above the Sixers. Nah, no, nah. Uh, uh, who knows? I don't know. They're both villains. They're both. Everybody's gonna want to see both of these teams lose in the playoffs. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So we hope we get them in a seven game, yeah, right, in the second right. round. That'd be awesome. We're gonna get James Harden guaranteed with the Sixers next season because as part of the deal, as Shams reporting here, he's opted into that forty-seven point three mil player option on his contract for next. 
season. This is wild. These guys, it, it's wild to think that Harden, Durant, and Kyrie got together just before last season. I mean, Harden came just a few games into the season. <laughs> yeah. And they played 16 games 16 together. 16 games yeah. the big three played. And yeah. Harden says, no thanks. I just thought he would give it one more whirl here mm. uh, in a postseason. But, yeah, if you're looking at the, the end-of-game lineups, you know, obviously there's lots of questions, lots of implosions could happen. But it's Embiid and Harden with Maxi, Danny Green, or Thibel, Tobias Harris beside them. And then you look at the Nets, if, you know, it's uh, – you gotta you gotta be a glass half full type of person, but it's Ben Simmons, Kyrie, Kevin Durant, Andre Drummond, Seth, Patty Mills, whoever. Joe I mean, Harris, that is, if he ever comes back. Yeah, that is uh, ridiculous. Yeah, that's just ridiculous. Love I mean, it's the same sort of idea as Harden and those guys, but now it's Ben who doesn't need to shoot. Let those other guys shoot all they want, and uh, they've got some defensive players in that lineup. So you can only pick one, okay? Mm. I want you to fill in the blank. The winner of this James Harden Ben Simmons trade is blank. The biggest winner is blank. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Yeah. Okay. Just overall in adding James Harden and not having to give up, you know, these yeah. maybe two or three really good players. Yeah, and they got it for a guy who just wasn't playing. Yes, true. As good as that player might be, he wasn't a part of that team. So now they get a guy who you think finally is like, okay, this is the situation, this is the team. I want to be on. I want to be in. Just even moving on from this Ben Simmons yeah. cloud around right. this team is is probably a big win, obviously, for them and their organization and their fan mm. base for sure. Okay, Trey, same question. Uh, again, you can go team, you can go player, like specifics, something weird. The biggest winner of the Harden-Ben Simmons deal here is blank. Real quick, just to clarify, Kyrie Irving did play in Cleveland his first game when he was traded to the Celtics, and then he played this year. Remember, there was that incident where he was, like, trash-talking a fan yeah. sitting courtside. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. like... He's like, you only won us one championship. Oh, yeah. He's like, yeah. yeah, yeah, man. I won you a championship. Yeah, right. Anyways. The burning, uh, the burning Sage, that was with the Celtics, right? Yeah. I, I remember the burning images. Sage. Burning Sage around, around the court. Around part of the parquet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something like that. Beautiful. It's beautiful. So, Winner here. Man, oh, it's tough to call. Is it not James Harden? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> is it? Uh, yeah, well, it is. It is. He got what he wanted. Yeah. Daryl Morey got what he wanted. Oh, ben got what Ben he Simmons wanted, yeah. got what he wanted. Yeah, Seth Curry didn't get what he wanted. Yeah. I don't think mm. he probably would have rather stayed and been the number one guy or the number one guard, number two guard, maybe if you're considering Maxi, Andre Drummond. He kind of got what he wanted. He'll probably start now. That's good. Nets, they got what they wanted. Two more first round picks. They could add some more players. I think the Nets won this actually. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now that I've now that I've completely broken it down, and uh, Paul Millsap, he's a winner. <laughs> Paul Millsap's a winner here. He's going to play. <laughs> right. uh, and to us, take us home uh, as we uh, get ready to wrap up this one. And we will do another one because there's other trades. I see uh, Tory Craig has been traded, Jalen Smith included, and all that. And then we got the Josh Richardson and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But this one, Simmons, Harden, biggest winner besides us. Well, we went through, yeah, NBA fans, of course. Every guy that Trey just went through, of course. But Daryl Morey. Yeah. I mean, the guy just... He just sticks around for a star. He sticks around for those situations where stars become unhappy. And it took until the minute before the deadline, you know, an hour and a half before the deadline. But he waited out October, November, December, <laughs> January. And then it happened. Uh, so Daryl keeps getting stars. Mm. It's happening. Now he's a 32-year-old star. I wonder yeah. how uh, Tillman Fatitter is uh, feeling right now. Because he could have had <laughs> Ben Simmons last year. Mm -hmm. He could have. And he, I think he was like, we're not giving James to Daryl. Well, he no. said he asked Daryl who he sh or who no, he, he, asked, he asked James Harden. Yeah. where would you rather go, Brooklyn yeah. or Philadelphia? But I think I think uh, he was saying, "I don't want you to go to Philadelphia." <laughs> <laughs> it's he, right, yeah. Anyway, he got there. He yeah. could have had Simmons, but he didn't. But anyway, that's uh, all in the past. But isn't it great? All right. <laughs> well, Christian Wood is on the block as well. Mm. Apparently, we've that's got less than an hour to go before the uh, you know trade deadline officially ends. I know trades will trickle in after 3 p.m. Eastern, uh, but let's take a break. Let's regroup. Let's get some more beans in you. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe we can make up for Tita. Going for a, <laughs> for going for a I need a wagon wheel or something like that. This is uh, yeah. This yeah, guy. Have you seen what he's doing for snacks? <laughs> he just goes over to that box yeah. of snacks that was sent to us from Scotland that we tried wow. on one of our YouTube shows. And this guy, he just he plops it down on the desk and he just rifles through it <laughs> and he tries to find something. Like here it comes. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. Bring it in. 
Okay. All right. Thank you, JD. All right. Well, reach your hand and grab something. Don't look. Don't look. Don't uh, but look. I want to wag it. Wow. You're getting a no duck ah, nibble okay. in the middle of an Did you hear him? <laughs> but I want a wagon wheel. All right. Yeah. Wacky wheel. This guy needs a nap. He's so old. We got to get him a nap. No, I've got a, a snack. Hey, listen, listen. I have to have one of these uh, calf coffees over here, too. I didn't bring my machine in. So I'm, you know. Oh, why, All right. Why are you whispering? Guys, we will call it there on this one. Uh, if you're new to No Dunks on YouTube, please, please like the video. Subscribe to No Dunks on YouTube. We really appreciate it. Leave us a five star rating and review if you're listening to this podcast. Again, we're going to regroup. We'll be back here. I don't know. JD probably needs 20, 30 minutes or so, and we'll get to some of these other trades, maybe some other thoughts on this Harden Simmons blockbuster. Ah! Oh! Oh. I love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Embrace the day. I mean, just embrace the next 20 minutes, people. We'll be right back.